How you feeling, Dan? Feeling really good. Sun's on the back. Beautiful <laughs> Hamilton day, and uh, good to get full training under my belt too. How's the uh, I guess since Christchurch and Ethan played since Christchurch to now? How's everyone feeling? Um, and I guess just moving on from from what happened in Christchurch. Uh, as we feel after every review, a little bit frustrated, uh, but we leave feeling clear on what needs to be worked on and um, how we're going to get better as players. So uh, there's been some good tension around camp, um, but plenty of determination and things to look forward to working on. In terms of the rugby championship, is this the closest you've seen it, um, I guess, between all four teams? Absolutely. Yeah, it's a great competition this year and anyone can win on, on their day and uh, it's going to be an interesting few weeks to finish. How's the neck after the incident last week and, and are you going to be okay to, to play for quiet on, on Saturday? It's feeling better, yeah. I'm working hard on it. I've realised that I've got to get a neck like a front rower um, to be able to handle these knocks. So I'm working hard on it in the gym um, with Pete and uh, a few more shoulder on tackles and uh, I'd say I'm just about ready to go. Did it have a greater impact given the, the fall in Mombella and what happened there? Did, did that have a greater impact on the on the neck? Did that make the recovery a little harder at all? I guess it all adds up. Uh, it's another knock and um, try and treat everything in isolation, but um, maybe it did have a compounding effect, but I'm feeling pretty good this week. Just working on each day, rehabbing, strengthening. Just in terms of the role of the, the leadership group this week after the loss, and I suppose you know, Sam's spoken a lot about the ill-discipline and the penalties given away. Is there a uh, a, a greater role of the leadership group this week to, to try and stamp that out of the game and, and maybe take greater accountability? Yeah, there's um, an element of being aware of uh, the areas that are letting us down and training good habits. Um, because, yeah, I think it was might have been six penalties in the weekend, five or six, but Fally kicked really well. That's what teams are going to do. Um, it's not good enough and we can't let ourselves down, uh, especially if it's individual um, discipline issues, if it's around, you know, ruck entry, little things like that, we need to tidy up, that's around our good habits, so it's something at, at the forefront of our mind, and we're all aware of, you know, the implications it has on our team. In terms of the attack, Bowden, how do you think um, that's progressing at the moment, you obviously had a change in attack coach with Joe coming in, Yep. Um, what's your assessment of where things are at and how, how the changes I guess you're trying to make? Yeah, it's all on uh, building good habits and doing it all the time rather than sometimes, so uh, I think Joe's been really good in that space and uh, there's no doubt he and Fozzie are finding their feet and how they're going to run things, but I think it's been, um, well, Joe's been awesome and so has Fozzie, so uh, I think we'll see the fruits of that hopefully this weekend and, and games to come. If you look back to Joe's time at Leinster and Ireland, it was um, quite based around uh, phase play and ball retention and um, minimal mistakes. Has, has he brought similar things here or is there an evolution to that? Yeah, well that's kind of where I'm going with the good habits and doing it every time. They um, run machines, they run around like robots, they're very efficient. Um, with all due respect, they they know how to retain ball and they do it very effectively. So um, we don't want to be like other teams, we need to be the best team we can be. So um, yeah, there's no doubt there'll be a, a, a little bit of that um, showing through in weeks to come. but. We've still got to be the expressive um, All Blacks that we know we can be. Ian talked a lot about um, using the boot instead of run, uh, for instance, and it's sort of been a constant the last few years, is it, just to get that balance of attack? Um, is it just that tough to change those sort of...? Um... I think it's when the pressure comes on, naturally we want to run the ball and keep it in hand. It's just what feels so natural to us, and we've identified that games that we've lost perhaps um, we may need to kick the ball a little bit more uh, it seems unnatural but it's just being aware of that um, and then looking to attack in different ways um, we run on our feet chasing kicks getting those 50 50 bounces or flooding rucks and looking for turnovers that way so uh, it's what other teams do really well, particularly South Africa, play a low-risk game plan and then put the ball up in the air and look to feed off those sort of errors. So, uh, again, we're not going to be like any other team. We've just got to figure out, and we are figuring out, the way that we want to play. How long do you give it to actually get those fruits, though? Does it need a... Today. started today. Yeah. How much of it is about patience as well, when you're not trying to score off every, every sort of phase and being willing to build pressure across the park? 
Yeah, and it goes back to the point of what does building pressure look like, Elliot? It's um, not necessarily holding on to the ball and building phases, it's how we use the ball, um, kicking, and it's the game management, um, and it's a collective team focus. It's not just on the nines and tens, it's everyone that, you know, everyone's got to be looking for that space. So uh, it's been at the forefront of our minds in the last few days, and um, we've seen some good shifts already this week. So how do you make sure you're not overthinking like in the situation where your instinct is I've got a seam I can go and then actually going oh hang on I should probably kick in that situation how do you try and minimize that thought process so it's not detrimental to yourself and the team I think backing your instinct instinct is the way to go so if you see case, a seam you're going totally <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you switch a lot about playing 15 on number 10. Now in Argentina, Santiago Carreras is uh, playing as 10, his former 15. Mm. Uh, what's your views uh, about his performance? Yeah, he's a very versatile, skillful um, player, and uh, for years it's been Nico Sanchez. Um, yeah, career is obviously the future and got plenty of potential. He's played very well, so. Um, yeah, there's not more that I can add other than he's showed a lot of prom promise and he's played well for a couple of years now. What do you expect from Argentina on Saturday? Um, more of the same. Uh, they, I think they have a good blueprint. I'd expect them to probably move the ball around a little bit more than what we saw in terms of playing with ball in hand. Um, but yeah, they know what works for them. Um, I think they'll continue to back their defence uh, the way they structure themselves positionally. Um, filling the field and so on and that breakdown's a huge area of focus for them so um, we'll focus more on Argentina in a couple of days it's the way we structure our week um, the first couple of days it's been more about how we're going to to play with ball in hand and attack. Stephen got a wee taste of test rugby coming in for you on the weekend so Todd Lucky and Blues play like yourself was it special given you worked with them the last couple of years? And yep it was special, um, no one can take that game away from him, uh, he fully deserves um, the opportunity and, and more to come, um, he's, he, he's earned his position in this team and regardless of the result everyone's proud of him and um, you know he deserves to be all black 1206 I think it was maybe. You mentioned about good tension in the camp, what does good tension look like, um, is it sort of a lot of accountability? Or yeah, it's it's exactly that, being accountable. Um, we're aware of our standards, not walking past anything we wouldn't accept. and um, Yeah, just being good buggers as well. We've got to get that balance right, being, you know, having fun and um, plenty of stimulation and things like that. So we know what the performance triangle looks like. Uh, when it's time to work, we've got to be ready to go. And when it's time to switch off, it's so important, especially at the moment, to do that. Was made of, the, of, the, of the discipline and stuff, but how much do you guys need to reflect on that first half and what worked well and, and the rewards that you guys got in that first 40? Yeah, it's, it's about being patient. I thought we played really well in that first half, apart from three or four penalties which let them in the game. So that's where scoreboard pressure can creep in, but reality is we felt like we are on top of them. So we just got to trust, believe and, and stick to it because I thought you know, we played really well in that first, first 40 minutes.